Hello, this is Bill of Scuba Fame. You can see here my uh, PCBs, my assembled PCBs from PCBWay showed up. So uh, my whole experience with PCBWay was good. I'm pretty happy with them. Um, they seem to know what they're doing and when they have questions, they're good questions. You know, they're kind of things that need to be clarified. So I'll, now what I'll do is I'll open these up and I'll show you what assembled boards uh, from China look like. Um, so there's some catches, like I had to pay 10% in Trumpian tariffs, um, and, uh, I also had to pay $70 to DHL, because they, uh, <clears throat> they process the tariff for you, and then they charge you a fee. I'm pretty sure that fee can be waived if I work with them or open an account or something, but still it bugs me, you know, these little costs that pop up, but... It's weird. They pay the tariff, your shipment proceeds, and then you got to pay them back, and then they charge you a seven dollar fee. Um, these also sat uh, for a week in LA because they needed my social security number or my taxpayer identification number. I wasn't even aware of it because I wasn't expecting that to happen. So it delayed the shipment a week. Um, it doesn't really matter because I wasn't ready to to do anything with them a week ago anyway. So uh, it's not the end of the world, but watch out that things get stuck in customs in LA sometimes. And uh, and then you have to fix it, otherwise they won't release it. And uh, the best way, uh, not the best way, but the way I do it now is I just sign up on DHL for uh, notifications and uh, you'll get notified when it arrives in LA, if you use DHL. I'm sure UPS and FedEx have similar things. Anyway, let's open these babies up. Okay, so this is what greets you when you open the box. Um, one thing to remember is that um, assembly houses, when they put the parts on the pick and place machine, they use a reel with the tapes on a reel like a movie. So they have leftover parts. So what you see here is the red guys are the boards and <clears throat> the boards are wrapped up in there and here are all the spare parts. So like I got a ton of these now. So and you see more spare parts over here like just tons of them. So if you look at this they're just rolled up. So if I unroll it um, each board <laughs> is individual in its own bag. So this is kind of sweet. I can ship them that way. So that's the companion board. I'll go over here and you can see I plugged one in and it's lighting up the way it should. So uh, I think these are good and now let's take out the other ones. Okay, so you can see this one they pack different. They, um, they put the boards in these slots. So if we reach in there, there's a, you see where, there's one board in there. So I'll take that out and uh, do it up. I bet you the other one is the same. They have these funny slots and they stuff the boards in there. And there's the spare parts, of course. Okay, here you have uh, a new assembled companion board that just programmed uh, a main board. And pretty happy about that. I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks like this is going to work. Uh, of course, I won't know until I actually finish building a robot and I have to test the other boards but this is a successful test I mean I got I got it to program which means all the components are in the right positions nothing was rotated and the LED is flashing and this is great super happy now uh, we'll do one last thing and check the uh, daughter board and open that box okay so so this one was the same as the main boards there uh, in these slots and as you can see they put them in they put them in these bags but these bags are sealed they're not like bags I can use once I cut them open I don't need them anyway because only the companion board needs a bag but uh, I'll have to cut them open each one I use so that's kind of a pain on the other hand um, you know how are they supposed to know you know if I don't tell them but if you get assembled boards ordered a smart guy would specify what bags he wants 
So that's definitely what I'll do next time. And you can see over here, here's all the extra parts from the reel that they got. So these will come in handy, you know, for making more scuba odds. Anyway, uh, so this is the initial take on what happens when you get assembled boards from China. And what happens in... It took about a month, I think. But that's pretty normal. Anyway, talk to you soon.